Hi guys, welcome back. You're still watching The Spot. It's time for today's topic, which is personality. Does it matter? I think it does, but we have a guest and we'll see what he has to say. He is a director and he's actually one of the Ebony Life family. You know, he, uh, he was here for quite a while directing one of our favorite shows, The Ojo's in the House. Mm. Please welcome Shay Bawatope. I don't know why I'm talking like a fake Yoruba girl. Shay Babs. Sh hello, it's not Shay Babs. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, Shay. Say no. What's <laughs> up, <laughs> so, baby? Oh. Zainab's boo. Hi, Shay. Why are you acting like you don't want to really hug her? Because <laughs> we hugged outside already. Why are you acting like you don't want to hug her? We hugged outside baby. already. How you feel? Like I said? Shay, don't be Shay. That's Zainab's boo. Didn't you haven't seen me? Didn't you miss me? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, just don't just give me a little bit. Hey guys, you've, you've, uh, how's you've, it going? Uh, yes. Your house looks very nice. Thank, Thank you. You were life. here when we were building it. I know. Well, <laughs> I know you've been dying to be a guest in this place. Just don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been. No, this place looks really cool. From my, I was there when they were building the setup. It's mm -hmm. very pretty. Yes. Thanks very for nice. coming. Thanks yes. for having me. All right. So. What's up? We're talking about personality. Does somebody, it matter? Somebody who has a whole lot. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So oh, much personality, sometimes we don't even know what to do. We're like, yeah. can you keep some of it like for tomorrow? Just take some. Like, they were my roommates. I literally next door neighbors. Don't say roommates. I, 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 they're not roommates, but we, we, we live a few doors from each other. Yeah, and, yeah. I did, and she I, was always mean to me. Like I was, I was mean, mean, you're mean to everybody. When she cooks, when she cooks, she'd say no for a long time before she said yes. Yes. Which is true. <laughs> but would I say yes? So when did you say yes? I'll have to wait but when, a very long time. Shay, when you, had a, when you had a personal chef cooking for you every day, Shay, did you ever share? Absolutely. No one shared time. with me. Yeah. Zainab ate every single night. He never shared with I me. I always looked out for you. You, you did not look you out for me. You were hanging out with old boy Tony and you never... Yo, oh, girl! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 But that's my no, homie, so though. Who's Tony? Who's Tony? Who's Tony? Who's Tony? We all know Tony. I don't know Tony. Yes, we do know Tony. Uncle Tony. Oh, that's what you call him, Uncle? Yes! Thank you. Let me say how you officially been exposed. I knocked the door and leave us alone. Wow. You know I'm not lying. I'm not lying. There are 40-something countries right now oh that you're lying God. to. <laughs> Shoot, I was there. So there's an Uncle Tony. There's an Uncle lying. Tony. Wow. Yeah. Why did you tell me this before? Shoot, I was waiting for the right time. <laughs> this is the right time. See how Zainab hops on lies. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why is it when she lies about you, you're like, oh, she's such a liar. No, you're believing her. It's not her. It's the truth. They're, they're, they're yeah. colluding. I have colluded. Yes. Yes. You ate every time I had food. I was like, I always, it was a community. Are you hungry? I'd ask you, you should What happened with like, the palm wine, Shay? Okay, Shay before I, we get I sour. I gave you palm wine. He brought me sour palm wine. Oh, before before, before we, we are moving. Oh my God. Before we, we get Uncle distracted Tony. Tony. by Uncle Tony. Before we get distracted by Lemmy Day's secret <laughs> life with Uncle Tony, I think it's really time for us to get into the topic. Like you know, you are all ridiculous. Personality. Personality. How important is it to you? It's good. It's, it's very important. I mean, I think personality is um, goes a long way to know if you want to get to know somebody or not. Some personalities are very infectious that you just gravitate towards it very naturally. Like mine. And some are very, <laughs> absolutely, like yours. Wow. And some, and Lamy Day too. <laughs> she, she's a cutie pie. Oh. <laughs> Everybody got time for you. <laughs> and some personalities are abrasive and you know from the word jump, I want nothing to do with that person. Oh. Mm. So like. We all know somebody like mm -hmm. that, don't we? Oh, you know, lies. I'm sure there are a few. You give examples for the first two. So what <laughs> oh, no, that's what that's okay. Yeah. Well, let's not offend anyone. Well, yeah. everybody knows nice. somebody like that. Yeah. For me, like, I feel like if your personality is way off, then it can strip away from everything you've ever done on this earth. If you're somebody, uh, yes, if you're somebody that a lot of people admire and look up to or you're powerful or whatever, and if your attitude stinks, then I've tapped out of your situation. Yeah, but then that's not, is that personality or is that you're, attitude? No, okay, if you're, you know what it, I mean? it's, it's a part of your personality. Okay. Then I'm not, I can't believe in you anymore because I feel like that's, that's your core. That's, mm. you know, the part that should shine the most. It, I'm not saying it has to be perfect. I'm not saying you have to be the nicest person ever, but if you can't even hold that together, then yeah. I can't. But do you, you believe this thing about, you know, Opposites attracting. You hear about people who have like very boisterous personalities. Most right. times, they are close friends with people who are. I don't want to use words. I mean, style, I, but I people mean, who are I, calmer. It's in some in some cases. It balances out. In some cases, I've seen it be something that actually becomes mutually beneficial. Yeah, I'm not talking about relationships. No, I know, I know. Guys, Even like guys. yeah, just, friendships. Just, I mean, I have friends that are 
way more extroverted than I am. You know, I think sometimes to be- Of course, these people- I'm <laughs> only extroverted around you and Lamy Days because I know you can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going out of my way to really- <laughs> Just piece them off. I get into it because like, Shay, lock my door, your brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but my friends who are really, really kind of like life of the party and that's definitely not me. And sometimes I cannot live through them because I can't do what they do. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I find out that my, my closest friend today actually is someone who, at first instance, I couldn't stand because <laughs> we we're just two opposites. And I'm just like, I hate you. <laughs> and we didn't talk for two years. Was this in university? or? Yeah. OK. And then now he's like, you know, <laughs> we've kind of understood each other. Is that for me? Yes, it is. Well. Right. I, mean, we'll I, I like Ferris with, with ice, but it's not just a Yeah, you're going to take what I give you. <laughs> but I'll what we're going to do is actually Thank take you. a quick break. When we come back, we'll be talking about uh, personality turn-ons and turned off. We'll see you in just a bit. Welcome back to the spot, guys. We're still talking personalities and um, discussing Lamidi's shenanigans. I <laughs> don't even have Tori. no shenanigans. She has anyway, mm. at least we know what kind of personality oh you attract God. uncles. <gasps> what, what kind, kind of, of personality do you have? I started today. <laughs> <laughs> what have I started she today? Beat you. What kind of personalities are you, are you attracted, attracted to? to? Wow, like just for a friend or an old Whatever. relationship? Whatever. Relationships? Oh, okay, relationship. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. I guess, it's, I mean, for me, it's, if I can, thinking back, it's about the season of my life, really. Okay. Things, different things, kind of like, I found more interesting at different times. I mean, for now, I mean, I want somebody who's, I'm attracted to a very intelligence, like intelligence a lot, because for me, that tells me that this person has the aptitude to at least troubleshoot things, even if I'm unable or, you're not available. Uh, unavailable. Even if I'm particular, even if I myself cannot yeah. talk to that for me, that that intelligence can come into into work and help the situation. I like a person who has a good sense of reali reality, and who's not living in the clouds. You know, some bubble. You know that mm -hmm. I find that very hard to deal with. At this stage in my life, like I just understand that. I mean, you know, so I mean, I found intelligence very attractive. Someone's rooted, in, rooted in reality, like yeah. someone has a strong foundation, you know. And um, religion too, like I want someone who has a who has a conviction about something, because to me that tells me that look, you aspire to other things. You know, what I'm saying that your belief system is important. So for me, those three. Things are very interesting. You just give out your CV to. Oh my God. <laughs> Why with Well, send me an email. <laughs> How about you guys? Same with Everybody likes TV. I'm just kidding. How about you guys? What do you, what's um, your, what personalities are you into? I think it's pretty similar. Uh, somebody who's very smart um, that I can learn from. Um, somebody who's very, very grounded because I, what I grew up from kept me very humble and grounded and it was, the realest of the realest. So I need somebody that it's not that I'm not going to find it too difficult to relate with or have a conversation mm -hmm. with. Or if I have an opinion about something, it's not like, oh, what are you talking about kind mm -hmm. of thing. So definitely somebody who's on the real. And um, yeah, the religion thing also adds to You're that. You're just describing me there. No. All three qualities. You're not grounded. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying like your CV to the world smart. too, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't send your CVs because you're talking about me. I don't know. I, I just limit it to one thing. I think it's the one thing I've noticed with all my relationships in the past is the fact that I've actually never dated an extrovert, someone who's big on clubbing and partying and, you know, you know being... I attract that a lot. Attracting I them, dating no, is different. I is attract different. a lot of women that really want to go out. Yeah. Because I really, always I never really want to go out. Okay. It's not like you have to coerce me to want to go out. Not that I'm antisocial. Yeah. But yeah, they're not antisocial either. They're just not going to always want to. Hey, uh, this people, Friday, this people, go, wanna, they, you know? they want to go out. They want, they want to go. They want to be. Do you seen. like it? I can't stand it. So why do you date them? <laughs> but I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of. I mean, I'm sure like you, you have certain type of things that just. Our reoccurring themes. Yeah. They're like, why am I always meeting this person? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like wherever I go, like, I'll they will pick me out and yeah. I'll find them. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think so. besides the intelligence, that's the one thing I think that has stood out for me. That's probably the one thing I think I've noticed with everybody I've dated. It's been, I'm probably the one who always goes, the, yeah, let's go out. They're like, okay. <laughs> which is, so, which is most <laughs> yeah. You know, some guys might count you lucky. Really? I think yeah. he's a very lucky guy. I think because you're a very lucky guy too. So long as you know, you know where she is and she's not. <laughs> She's yeah. not acting well somewhere. See, it's not outrageous. Like, like, hey, babe, where are you? <laughs> I'm at a ball! Wow! Money, babe! You know, be that guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't turn up. No yeah. turning up. All right, well, we're going to do a quick switcheroo and check out a spotlight, I believe. So let's go ahead and look at that. My name is Olali Kombuari, popularly known as Unlimited LA. I'm a cinematographer and music video director of short films, music videos. TV commercials and so on. I didn't study any of filmmaking in school. I'm a graduate of Lagos State University. I studied uh, computer science and mathematics. And but <laughs> while I was in school, I had, I had this cousin. His name is DJT. He used to live in his house. So I go to school weekdays, weekends. I come home. I come around. So I follow him to wherever he's going to on set, and location and all that. So I did that for close to five years. I was in school from 100 levels to five, used five years in school. I was always doing back and forth. So I started gathering all the knowledge and experience for five years. That's what I did for five years. On my own, I started like two years ago and I've shot over 20 videos. I've shot a movie, shot, um, documentaries and I can't even count right now. I would say I fell in love with filmmaking with DJT on set because I'm always wondering, look at this camera, the lights, and at the, at the end of the day, you spend like 24 hours or 20 hours trying to put a four minute clip together, you know, I just be like, wow, you know. Yeah, that, that was when the love came from. I get inspired by, um, watching other music videos, you know, movies, just anything television. I get inspired, I just turn on TV, I get inspired with anything, or by anything I see on TV. The name of my company is MSYC, I'm sort after young cinematographers. I want to start training, you know, young cinematographers, you know, and videography, editing, I want to start training now. I want it to be like, you know, a place. MSC Basti should be like a place. If you want to shoot anything, we can give you technical support. You know, you don't have to worry about your gaffer. You don't have to worry about um, director of photography. You don't have to worry about it. You just call us. We just supply technical support. I own this spotlight because this is MSC Basti. Most sought after young cinematographer. Only in LA. Love it. The swagger. Mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> He's a cinematographer. He's done, you know, music videos and stuff like that. Yeah, I see that. And you've done the same thing. I have. You know? I have. Are you kind of out of the video world right now? Yeah. Um, I don't do a lot of them anymore. I did one. Music videos. Music videos. Yeah, I, okay. I did one recently. Ooh, which one? It's not. It's for an artist, out of Potaka, called Lyrical for Excel Media. And if my friend didn't own the company, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You know, but uh, it's, a, it's a world that I, I'm glad to have been a part of, but not that I'm, I'm, I will do them, you know, but I just don't it's focus. It's not your preference, yeah. It's not my preference to do anymore. Okay, mm. awesome. Well, you guys, we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, we've still got more, including Social Media Roundup, so please stay with us.